Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me in my planty journey here. Um, today I thought we would repot basically almost all of my alocasia. They are in desperate need of new homes. Some will need to be transferred over to Pond or Lekka and some just need to be repotted. I do enjoy my alocasias in um, semi-hydro, so that's what we are going to be doing today. So I feel like I'm going to um, just kind of show you like three to five alocasias and then I will go silent and play some music and repot them. Change the, so you can see everything and then we'll just kind of go from there. And then yeah, we'll just kind of get going here. I think I have four pulled out right now. So we'll just start with those four. So I'm going to start with probably the Maharani here. So it currently is at three leaves here and it's just in soil. So I'm going to take it out of soil and put it into pond. And then kind of go from there. Oh, you kind of see a little corm kind of coming out there. Fungus gnats everywhere. Another reason why I want everything else, soil. Um, and then we're going to do this alocasia as lanii. Still in soil as well. It is working on a new leaf. I generally don't like messing with it when it's working on a new leaf. But I don't think I want to wait either. I just don't think it's very happy and it's drying out really quickly. So I want to get into pond because I just think it's a little easier for me in general. And then um, we'll kind of do the Cooper out here because you kind of see how it's getting very sad. Like it was looking gorgeous, doing great. And yeah, now it's just like, might be some rotting and stuff like that. So I might need to do a few more things with this one really. Um, yeah, looking right at it right now, I can kind of see it's probably rotting some as it just came out. It just rotted. So I will be basically rerouting that actually. That was the thing. So I'll probably look to see if there's any corms or anything, but yeah, we will basically reroute that entirely and yeah, go from there. Ugh. And then the last one so far I will be doing will be the Stingray. Alocasia Stingray. This one's actually doing pretty good, but it is getting a little bit of rot in the roots, like it desperately wants to bigger home. So I will be doing that and taking any of the little corms that are going. Because like you can see that's one's growing right here right now. Another one's working its way out as well. Take those out. We will kind of adjust so you can kind of see things a little bit better and we will let the music play.
All right, so yeah, that was the first four. Uh, obviously, I thought I had prepared, but uh, clearly still needed to go grab about 10 billion things. So hopefully I don't need to do that this time. Um, so yeah, here's the next four I'm going to do. I have all the little tiny baby black velvets from Corms from my mother plant. I need to find new homes. And now I, of course, already remember that I probably want plastic and not glass. So I might still need to go grab things. We will see. Maybe I'll do that one last. Perhaps. And then I will also be doing my scalp from here. I'm doing really good, but yeah, it has been in there for a while. And probably would like a slightly bigger home so it can grow bigger. And then the same thing for the dragon's breath here. It's love and life pretty much, but now looking at it, I think it would, yeah, I think it's drying out a little bit faster than I would like, so I like to put it into something a little bit larger as well. And then the same for the Mama Black Velvet. Doing really good. Um, other than occasionally being dripped on with water, but here's like that newest leaf here. But yeah, it's definitely root bound and ready to go into a bigger home. So yeah, then we'll kind of do this. Obviously I'm putting this one just into a bigger container with Lekka and then the other ones will be with Pawn and I'll probably use as much as my Lakusa Pawn as I have left. Don't have a whole lot and then I will switch over to the pond I got from the variegated plant shop. I think it's Magus or whatever. So I have a couple of bags with those and then if I ever run out of that then I also decided to make my own mix over there. So we should be covered hopefully and yeah I got two bags of 10, two, two, 10 liter bags of Lekka all washed or you know soaked and ready to go as well so we should be completely okay. But yeah, let's see if I have enough vessels around me to figure this out without having to get up for the 10,000th time. Yeah, we'll readjust here and then we will get going. Quick note, like it looks like I actually would have been okay if I left it in there, but then maybe they were crowded and didn't have enough space to actually develop more roots. So yeah, I still want to get into a bigger home to hopefully promote that root growth and get even bigger leaves. And I'm also just going to reuse the pond that was in there because I don't, I haven't had a problem with it. There's no mold or anything like that too.
another note, perhaps rinse your pond before you use it. I did not, might regret that now, but also I'm not going to stop and do it. So learn from me, don't do as I do. Another note, did kind of forget that I was going to put these in perlite and not pond so I could sell them or give them away. But clearly this is done now. Thank you. But clearly this is done now so um, we're just going to go with it for now. Maybe I'll wait until a little bit later to try to sell them or give them away or something. Anyway, we will continue.
we've done eight so far. We're just gonna finish up with two more. And it's just going to be the little baby fry decks I have or what is the name they actually are, but they are normally referred to as fry decks. But they're actually like switch of the M, like mitz. I'll put it on the screen. Basically, so there's three corms, two of them have flower like produce leaves and the other one is on its way so I figured we will just take out the two that are the biggest here and we'll probably keep this one in the little cup for a little bit longer maybe move it around a little bit and then really and then the last one will be that it'd be actually a colocasia and I am going to just put it into a bigger thing with some like at the bottom and I think pond as well and I would think it might actually enjoy being outside rather than out of my cabinet so we will probably do that maybe if I can think if I can keep up with the watering or we'll just put it somewhere in the room and we will see if that works otherwise right now it is just in a mixture of perlite stratum and lacuzapan and yeah it's it's ready to get into a bigger pot here. All right, yeah. Readjust and we will let the music play again. As a quick note, this is the pond that I made. It is just a mix of the mini Lekka balls, which are just these little tiny ones here. Uh, pumice, black lava rock, and green zellulite. And that is basically all I have in there. Uh, so that's what I think I'm going to be using. This is the first time I've made it, so we're gonna experiment to see if actually does a good job or not it could be completely horrible I don't know so but yeah this is what I did it's basically just a 50 50 50 you know 50 50 of everything in there equal amounts of everything as well you know the best I could do from what I could tell like I just eyeballed it eyeballed it and went from there until it looked correct to me basically so yeah this is what we're gonna be using for the fried eggs or the whatever they are and then probably a little bit of the calcasia as well.
All right, guys, it looks like my battery is just about out. So this is where I'm going to leave you for today. Um, that was, thank you for joining me for repotting those 10 alocasias. If you liked this kind of format, just let me know. Um, probably will be what I'm going to do for all the rest of my repots because I just have so many to do. But otherwise, if you want to see something else, if you want like 10 million videos of me just repotting plants, let me know. Otherwise, I will probably do it this way. But yeah. Thank you for joining me, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.